Alrighty guys, what is going on? Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Theta SMP server. Now, I have to apologize. In the previous episode of Theta, I accidentally said welcome back to the Purge SMP server. So, I apologize for doing that, but I have a pretty good explanation for that. And the explanation for that is that I was rushing and tired and I was like sleep deprived because that whole day I was studying for midterms. So, there's my reasoning for not remembering my SMB names correctly. But anyway, we're back for another episode today. Now, in between episodes, I have done a lot of work on the server, getting stuff ready for you guys. It's been pretty good. As you can see in my inventory right now, we've got some stuff. I've got iron armor now. I've got more than this, don't worry. Got four more diamonds from a little mining trip I just went on, and I've got more at home. But what we're going to do first is I just wanted to check out spawn quickly, see if there are any changes done to it, any of the cool stuff, if anything's happening at spawn. That's what we're here to check out right now. I want to see quickly if this place, who's, this is Voss's horse shop. Does he sell any horses right now? Does not look like it. Payment slash product information. Can we get anything down here? Actually, I might want to, name tags or two diamond saddles as well. Actually, I'm going to buy a saddle and... I'm gonna, how much is that one diamond? So I'm gonna buy a set of horse armor. So that's gonna be two diamonds each. This is why I put the diamonds in my inventory so we could actually buy some stuff. But there we go. So bought some stuff for a horse. So as you guys can see, I'm planning on getting a horse um, off camera pretty soon. I don't know if I want to do it on camera. We'll have to see what happens with it. But I'm definitely gonna be getting a horse. And for the time being, we're gonna store... Actually, no, I don't have one at my base yet. So I'm gonna keep that. But we have an ender chest that spawned, by the way, now. So what we're gonna do today is I've done a lot of work off camera. So the first thing that I've done is I've successfully linked up my base to the nether hub, which connects it to spawn. So I'm gonna show you guys my portal path. I've been working on it a bit off camera. So if we enter the nether hub. If you guys have never seen the nether hub before, here it is. It's very nice. Uh, a couple people have made portals so far. I don't know who this is, but this is Gapples, Pyrus, Fluffy, and then we gotta go a little bit, a little ways down. This is for future expansions. And then we've got CMs, Ace Pads, H Monkeys, and mine is right here, and Scorpius is right next to mine. So this is my portal path. As you can see, I've I've hooked it up. It goes all the way down here. It's a pretty, it's not too far. I'll probably set up like a rail or maybe like ice under the ground so I can slide down possibly in the future. But this is my portal path. This leads to here. And then I've linked it all up to my base. So if we go through here, I've also made a couple improvements to the base. So I've expanded the sugarcane farm since the last episode gotten more done on the house, and I've also pretty much, I filled up the wheat farm, so I've been getting a lot of my food from this. But if we go inside, I've also made a sign that says Linky's house. And in here, I'm currently cooking up some hardened clay, because I'm going to be doing some cool stuff with hardened clay. And then, I believe I got nothing in here. So this is the basement, this is the bottom floor, not the basement. This is the bottom floor right now, and I've had a couple ideas for it. Now, the first thing, as you can see, is I've accumulated quite a bit of stuff. So I've got 64 iron ingots here, 41 gold. 13 diamonds, and then here, got a ton of lapis, some iron that I still have to smelt, pretty much another stack, some netherrack, and all this stuff, and we're just gonna drop this all in here. So, I've been working hard this morning, this is all pretty much from just, like, two or three hours of playing. So, I'm happy with my progress so far, and let me know what you guys think of all the stuff. And, I've gone ahead and I've decorated the top floor. So, if we come up here, I've put the glass all around, so it's kind of like a glass balcony, I really like it. If we turn up our render distance here to 8... It'll turn the, the clouds back on. We also get a pretty nice view of Sansu's tree from here. And there's also someone building on the other side of this mountain. So we're in a prime spot for different members to be working. But I've set up some tables and chairs up here. So this is kind of just for aesthetic looks. But the tables, they're made of different types of uh, stair... Different types of um, uh, stair blocks, pressure plates, and fences. And all of them have signs to kind of act as like armrests on the sides of them. I've got this design here. I've got the two-person design. And then we've got three, um, I got the four-person design, the kind of, like, the three-person-esque design, and then three two-person ones. So, I've been decorating a bit. I'm really happy with all the stuff that we've done this morning. I'm, I'm, like, I'm feeling good about it all because this morning I was like, okay, what do I want to get done? So, I got all this done. And I'm happy with that. So, that's what I've done at my base so far. What I need to know from you guys is what do you guys want to see me do to the bottom floor? Do you want to see me add an enchanting table? Do you want to see me add, like, different, like, maybe we could put in, like, if I can find some, where do I have, do I have any? Stone bricks, we can make a couple stone bricks. Maybe we could potentially do something like this, where there's, like, a little wall that goes, like, around here, and we could maybe, 
connect it like with a door or something. I don't know. It's up to you guys what you guys want to see. Like maybe we could do a door here and this could lead into another room. I think that could be pretty cool. We'd have to put like glass here or something. And then probably for the indoor portions, we'd put this kind of glass. And then if that's going to copy the same style, we could do, because I don't think this connects. We could do another one here, probably like that. And we could do three glass there. We could do three glass on this side. I think that could be cool. Like that. I think that could look really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I just really want to make this house look really awesome. And I want you guys to be definitely invested in all the stuff that we're doing. So let me know what you guys think of that. So what we're going to do quickly is I actually have a couple things I want to get done in this episode besides showing you the stuff off. But we're going to make my full set of iron armor now. I haven't taken much damage from it. I've taken a little bit. Actually, we'll quickly repair this. Can we? Wait. How do you? I don't think you can actually repair iron armor that way, but... We're going to repair that, and then that'll be good. So what we're going to do is with this, we're going to grab some, I'll only grab like 32, some of my lapis, and we're also going to, I believe if we, this should work, right? That works, right? No, it doesn't work. How do you make an anvil? We're going to make an anvil first. So let's grab our iron, because I want to repair my stuff. So let's see, we need to make, is it three blocks, I think it is, and then it's, is it like that? That's an anvil. Alright, perfect. So we've got an anvil now. We'll just plop that down here for the time being. And what I want to do is I want to repair my diamond sword. So that's going to cost us a level. And then we can put this iron back. So repair the uh, the diamond sword. And then I'm thinking, is it going to be more worth it to... Is it going to be more worth it to just make a new... Like, I can get diamonds easy. Is it... I think it might be more worth it just to make a new pick. And then that should be fine. We'll just use this as like a work pick. But if you guys are thinking, what are we going to do in this episode? What we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading back to spawn. And we're going to be enchanting a set of iron armor just for some protection for the time being. Just until I get diamond armor. Because there's a mob grinder that connects to the nether hub. So I can just get more levels from that. Which is why I'm not making a full set of diamond yet. We're going to head back to spawn. And we're going to enchant all of our diamond tools. And we're also going to enchant with, for now, since it's iron armor, protection one on our uh, iron armor. So that's what we're going to be doing at spawn. I want to get some decent enchants on it. There's also some books there that we could potentially use, bring back to our anvil here, and we could put them on. So we'll see what they offer us, but let's just head back to spawn real quick and see what we can do with that. Also, after this episode, before the next episode, I really want to get my food situation pretty much solved. Now, the issue with food right now is I only have the wheat farm, and I want to get more. I want to bring pigs or sheep or cows or chickens or even rabbits. Get them in a nice little farm at my base and just kind of farm them. That way I can have a pretty good supply of steak and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to enchant. We'll enchant the armor first since it's probably going to be easiest. So let's just pop all that in. And I want to get... That's going to do two enchantment levels. We'll get prot two on the helmet. And then, hang on, I just want to alternate this a bit. Uh, let's see what it gives you on this. Protection 2. That's going to cost 1 level. Now let's do these. That's going to give fire protection. Level requirements, 15. Okay. Fire protection. Let's do the pickaxe then. Efficiency. That's kind of all I want on my pickaxe right now is just efficiency. And let's do efficiency on the axe as well. And the shovel... We'll wait a second to enchant. I want to get the sword done. Smite, sharpness. I want to get that sharpness. So I might head to the um, mob grinder and do that. And then let's do the boots. Prot one. I'll take that. And then the iron chest plate. Unbreaking. I don't want unbreaking. I want to get protection. So what I think we'll do. Actually, wait. Protection one. We can take that and enchant it. And then... I don't know if these are for us to just use, so I might take it back to my base and add protection onto the iron chest plate. That could be useful. Okay, actually, while we're here, let's enchant this one with the unbreaking as well, just so I can have it. Just as like kind of like a work pick that I can use a lot. Okay, so there we are. Alright, awesome. So we'll take this and we'll add it to the iron chest plate. And then we need to get back up to 15 levels, that way we can enchant the diamond sword. I want to get something really good. Actually, wait, 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 oh no. Wait, I want to go back through. I want to check that chest again, because I didn't actually look for anything that we could use on the sword. If they have, like, fire aspect or something, I would love to get that on the sword. Can we go through? Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. Are we... Yes, perfect. So let's see. What did they have in here? Efficiency, prot, power. No, nothing we really need. All right, well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my base. And I'm going to grab... 
Actually, I'm gonna... Let's see. I have to check this out for myself. I've got to find... Where is... Mob Spawner? I want to go see if this is actually complete. I haven't actually checked this myself. So I want to see if they've actually finished the Mob Grinder. And if they have... If they have, if I can actually use it. And grab up 15 levels. That way I can enchant my sword. Let's see. Hopefully they've got something good here. Maybe they've got, like, zombies already waiting or something. That would be really nice. There's an enchant table here. Hit one or two. Oh, so the mob grinder's already set up, I think. Actually, are we allowed to take any of these? I think we're just allowed to take stuff. So I'm going to take a couple arrows, because why the heck not? And then bows. Fresh bow. I'll take one so we can enchant it. Enchant it. I apologize for the hiccups. What's that? Feather falling? I could actually use that. What else do they have? Some of these bows are enchanted with, like, power and unbreaking already. Which are good. Actually, the dark oak saplings I could probably take. And then, I'm not sure how this works. If we need to wait here for them to spawn or something. Like, do they just kind of fall eventually? Do we have to wait here and kind of just hit them as they fall? It sounds like... If I think the spawner's over here. It's definitely a skeleton spawner that I'm hearing right now, so... Oh! Wait. Okay, they fall. They just fall. Okay. That makes... That's in. That's good. Okay, let's just hit them. And then that should give us levels, right? Already up to level 10. Nice. So this actually gives us the levels pretty quickly. So we got some bones. We can actually... Actually, wait. Oh, bones, bones, bones. I want a ton. We can put those in there. Bones are something that I want a ton of. Because I want to farm my food source a lot. So taking bones is probably going to be important. We can just kill these guys to get to level 15 here. Anything that, like, we get from this. What's this? Armor. Bows go in here. That's already full. Bows can... That's full as well. This one isn't. And then, arrows. We can put the extra ones. I only need, like, four stacks for the time being. And then extra bones. We can pop in there. If they'd fall, that would be great. Did any of them... Did any of them... Drop potatoes? Because that's one thing that I really want to get at my base, is... A nice potato farm going. That's partly... Honestly, I should probably grab two more stacks of bones. Just to be safe. Level 12? Awesome. Level 12. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to take a pause here. I'm going to wait so I can get to level 15. And once I get there, we will be back. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. I got up to 15 levels. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use this enchant table here. And we're going to see what we can get for 15 levels. So we got looting and knockback. Now, what I'm thinking is before we do anything, I want to enchant... The shovel again. Efficiency 2. I would love that. Efficiency 2 on the shovel would be great. Let's see what we can get on the bow. Power 1. No, we'll wait to enchant the bow. And then... What do we got? Knockback 1 on the sword? I could always... What I could do is I could get books. And I could always combine them later on. And I think I might do that. Let's just grab a few more of these skeletons. Hello. Are you gonna die? Good. Just get back up to level 15. Awesome. Alright. So, what I think I might want to do... So, let's just pop those back in. The sword, I could get Unbreaking 2. That's going to be a level requirement of 24. And then for this, what we could do is we do the Power 1 or the Power 2. We'll go for the Power 2. Unbreaking, Power, and Punch. That's actually... That is not too bad. That is not too bad. That's going to give us pretty decent bow drawback. Does it have Unbreaking? It does have Unbreaking. So, it's going to last us a while as well. So, oh, we forgot to do what we came here for. Let's do the chest plate. Prop protection? Eh, I guess we can give it projectile protection on the chest plate. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, for an iron set, I think this is good armor. Protection on everything. We got all different forms of protection. Prop 1, Prop 2, and projectile. On the bow and the stuff, we just have like efficiency stuff that'll make mining and everything much faster, which is kind of what I was going for from the beginning. And yeah, that's basically what, what I wanted to do today, is I wanted to just kind of enchant and get everything done. And that's what I was looking to do. And we got it done. We got some bones and some arrows. What I'm going to do off camera in, bef in between this episode and the next episode is I'm going to try to set up a potato farm. I'm also going to continue to grow the wheat using these bones. And now I know I've got a pretty decent source of bones here at this mob grinder. So if I ever need more, I can always... Where were the bones? Uh, what? Bones. Bones. Here. I can always go back and there's always a ton of bones for me to grab. Like there's ones down here. There's tons of stacks here. We can actually move couple of these stacks over to the 
to the bone section. But that's what I'm looking to do today, guys. Uh, I'm going to end off today's episode here. We showed off spawn, showed off the new stuff I was doing at my base, and we also enchanted some armor. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Theta SMP server. Theta, not Purge. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.